All right, so you're wanting to know how to do some slow motion. Uh, when you get into video editing and you're first starting to kind of learn how to do certain things, it can be a little bit daunting. And something as simple as fade in, fade out can actually be very frustrating, especially at first. It can be, if you don't know exactly what it is that you're looking for on the program itself, it can be very, very frustrating. So I'm here to kind of help you out a little bit. If you're interested in learning how to do a fade in and a fade out, stay tuned. I'm going to show you right now. All right, we're into my computer here, and we've got the, we've got the video um, that we're going to be playing with here. And here it is on our timeline. Um, so up here we've got our effects. And if I play the clip through here a little bit. Hey puppies. Okay, so we've got, we've got some video of some dogs. Now, uh, to do a simple fade in and fade out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the plus key a couple times. That's going to zoom in um, on this clip. And another uh, good tip is to, over here, pull this up, and you're going to be able to see this line right here. That line is for all your effects up here. And so we're going to actually select uh, Opacity, and we can see all these tools here. And to do a fade in, you're going to want to do it at the very beginning of, of your uh, clip or the very end. And so it's really simple. Um, under opacity, you're going to see this keyframe here. And so we're going to we're going to start it about right here and we're going to add that keyframe. And if you see real small, there's a little keyframe there. And then we're going to also we're going to scroll along on the timeline and we're going to do another keyframe at the very beginning. And all you got to do is click and pull that down and if you notice, it turned the opacity to complete 0. And you can change that by scrolling up and down. And if you, if you notice it, it, it uh, allows you to see the video or not. So that's going to be your fade. That's how that works. The opacity is a ramp up to where you can finally see the video. So that's the fade in. And the same, the same goes for the fade out. It's just it's the complete opposite. You go all the way to the end. You want to get the very last frame, and then you go back, and then you. You make sure you're under opacity, you add a keyframe, and you go back a little bit, add another keyframe, and then you're going to drag that, that keyframe down. And so that's going to create a fade out. So uh, for something like slow motion, uh, that's e even easier. So let's say, let's try to find a spot where the dog kind of, how about right here? So what we're going to do is, you're going to want to select this. This is called the razor tool. So you select that, and you notice it's kind of turned into a little razor blade. And so we're going to cut that, that um, clip right there. And then we're going to drag it, uh, say, about right there. And this is, this is going to be the section that we're going to turn into slow motion. So we're going to go back to our uh, selector mouse and click on that. Make sure, you always want to make sure that you're clicking on um, that selected portion of the video and that each section has its own edit. So you want, you want to make sure you're doing that. You don't want to select this and start messing around with uh, effects because that won't be doing any good over here. So you want to make sure you're selecting the right stuff. And then you're going to right click this, and this is going to be a speed duration. And we're going to turn that, at, uh, we're going to do about 50%. And if you notice, that kind of made it a little longer. So let's see what, what we got here. If you notice, it kind of, it, it went a little slow. But we can actually turn this whole thing into uh, 50%. And you see it made it a lot longer. But that's...
yeah, that's basically how you do the uh, the slow motion. All right, so as you can see, it's not really that hard. Just make sure you uh, click that tab so you can actually change the opacity. It's something that you can work with and, you know, don't get too frustrated. And remember, there's tons of videos like this out on YouTube. That's how I learned a lot of my stuff. Just watch other YouTube videos. You'll totally figure it out. Be patient. And don't forget, if I could give any tip, is when you get far along on your video, make sure you save your videos, you know, periodically, at least every half hour or 15 minutes. Because there's nothing worse than working on a project for like two or three hours and then all of a sudden your computer crashes and you've lost everything. So definitely make sure you save. Yeah, enjoy.